Okay, assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's come back. Uh, in our previous class, we have discussed about the equation of a circle. Okay, the concept of this uh, form three basically. At uh, this time, you're going to see how questions are framed. How questions concerning about this one are actually framed during national exam. Okay, uh, we will start with our first example because this is these are KCSE questions for your information and they will help you. So, we will start with our first example. Okay. This is example one. You are told uh, the equation of a cycle. The equation of a cycle. The equation of a cycle is given by. Is given by. We have a four x squared plus four y squared minus 8x plus plus 20y minus 7 is equal to 0. So you are told, full stop, you are told, determine the coordinate of the center of the circle, okay? Determine, determine the radius, determine the radius and the coordinates of the center of the circle, and the coordinates, Of the center of the circle, of the center of the of the circle, okay. That's what you're told. So I think this thing we have learned in our previous video, and I'm sure you have gone through that video, of course. Uh, coming to the solution, but look here. This is our equation here: four x squared minus eight x. Collect the area plus four y squared minus sorry plus change to y. Minus seven is equal to zero. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll take this one to the other side. Yeah, that's rule number one. So we'll have four x squared minus eight x plus four y squared plus change y is equal to seven, which is positive because uh, remember this it is seven is negative here on the other side it will be positive. So for us to simplify this thing, we are going to divide through out by by four throughout our equation by. Uh, by four, just understand. So cancel this thing. So we we'll have x squared minus two x plus y squared plus five y is equal to seven out of four. Okay. Then what have we said? We say that we add to the right side of the equation uh, the coefficient of x and y divided by two then squared. Okay. This one divided by two is what? So we are going to say x here minus look at this point minus uh minus one close the bracket x minus uh one and uh, squared plus here you're going to say y plus 2.5 okay y plus 2.5 squared okay squared now is equal to seven out of two look at this point here yeah? seven out of two is this one okay is equal to seven out of two, seven out of four, sorry, seven out of four. So this is seven out of four, which is there really. We have seven out of four here, don't forget. So it's equal to seven out of four, plus then this one squared, plus negative one squared, plus again, 2.5 squared, okay? Uh, from there, we can say, uh, x, minus one squared plus open the bracket y plus just understand that 2.5 okay y plus uh, 2.5 uh, <coughs> squared is equal to uh, seven uh, seven out of four is what let me write that one in decimal for you just understand make sure you have a calculator so seven divided by four is what it's 1.75 1.75 plus one squared is what? One plus this one squared is 6.25, okay? 6.25. So we're going to say plus 6.25 plus uh, one, okay? That will give me nine, okay, in total. So I will have come to this point here, yeah, so they understand better. Come to this side. We have uh, uh, x minus one squared plus open the bracket y plus uh, 
squared is equal to 9. Then introduce root into root. Okay, introduce root throughout. So we'll have what? X minus 1 in bracket plus Y plus 2.5 is equal to 3. Okay? So we're going to say our radius is what? Our radius is 3 units. Okay? This is what we normally call the radius. I just understand 3 units. Then uh, center now. Center will be equal to this. So we're going to say uh, X minus 1 is equal to 0. X therefore is equal to 1. Or uh, y plus 2.5 is equal to 0, then y is equal to negative 2.5, okay? Then that would be uh, our center, okay? Now center will be this point, 1 comma, yes, and standard, negative 2.5. That would be the, uh, the final answer for your information, okay? Just understand, what are we doing? We are removing this four to where by eliminating, yeah? How are we going to eliminate this one? Divide two out by four, which is the common, okay? Then follow this procedure. I'm sure you'll get the correct answer, okay? That is how uh, these questions are framed during a uh, national exam, okay? And now let's see example two. I hope you're with me. So what are we doing? First, we're going to divide two out by four. Then first, we're going to transfer, sorry, we're going to transfer this one to the other side. So we have 4x squared minus 8x plus 4, 4y squared plus 20y is equal to 7. Remember, I've collected these ones because they are the... They are like terms, just as I am. They are, uh, they are carrying letter x, okay? Then from there, you're going to get x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 5y is equal to 7 out of 4. Then you know what you're going to do? Uh, to the right side of the equation, you're going to add the coefficient of x and y divided by 2 squared then, okay? That's how you're going to solve, then you'll get. I'm sure if you have watched our previous video, you, have, you must have digested this concept of mathematics. But these are the case equations, yeah? Uh, that has come uh, during uh, the past KCC, okay, questions, okay? Let's go. Let's see example two, which also differs from the previous one. You have not, okay? Let's see this example. Look at this one. You are told that the diameter of a cycle, comma, center O. This is example two. Example two, you are told the diameter of a cycle, Comma, the diameter of a cycle center O has its end. Center O has this end has it is end point M. End point M end points. Yeah, we have M which open the bracket, so we will have negative one comma six. Negative one six and n and n which is what five negative two five negative two okay first up find the equation of the cycle in the form the twelve find the equation of the cycle in the form Find the equation of the cycle in the form x squared plus y squared plus ab plus by plus ab plus by. Okay, sorry, plus ax. Sorry, yeah, this is ax. Don't forget. Plus c is equal to zero. Okay, is equal to what? Uh, yeah, plus C, yeah, plus C, then we are told, look at this one, let me reference this part. Look at this one. Where, comma, we are told, where A, B, and C are constant. Where A, comma, B, and C are constant, okay? First of all, where A, B, and C are constant. Okay, now uh, look at this question. Okay, let's solve this question. Okay, we are told the diameter of a cycle center O. The diameter of a cycle center O. Look at that. Has its end points M1 negative 1, 6 and N5 negative 2. Find the equation. 
So now the first thing we are going to do is actually, so far we have, uh, let's say, let's say this is the circle, okay? And this is the diameter. Let's say this is A, this is B, and this is center, okay? Oh. You are told we cannot say A and, and B, why? Because we have M and N, okay? You are going to take those two. You are told M, the end point M is actually, you have M as negative 1, 6, yeah? Negative 1, comma, 6, just and standard. Negative 1, 6. Then N we have as 5, comma, negative 2. So uh, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to get our center, just understand that, yeah? How are you going to get the center or midpoint? Midpoint of a line is the center of the diameter. Just understand, the midpoint of the diameter is the center of the diameter. So we are going to get the midpoint. And when we know that, look here, we know that center, center, okay? We know that center is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Remember, this is x1. Negative 1 is x1. This is y1, okay? This is x2. This is y2, okay? Then we are going to say our center there. Our center will be negative 1 plus 5. Negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2 comma 6 plus negative 2. 6 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So this will give us what? 4 over 2 comma. Here also 4 over 2. Because this will be 6 minus 2 here. So this will result what? Center there will be uh, 2 comma 2 by 2 1 by 2 2 by 2 1 by 2 2. Just answer. So that's the center. Okay, this is our center C. Which is what? 2 comma 2. Just understand that. Okay, after getting the center, how is it helpful? This center will help us because we, want, we can get the radius, just understand, yeah? We can get this one at this point. The magnitude of ON. Okay? Let me get the magnitude of ON. And say the magnitude of ON, written like this, look here. Yeah? Uh, we know that ON is gotten as x squared plus y squared into root. So what are you doing? Let's get the difference first, okay? We are going to say ON. Or is equal to 5 negative 2 minus open the bracket just as that 2 2 2 2 so that will give me what uh, 5 minus 2 is what 3 negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 okay now I can get the magnitude now of ON which is the radius that just as that is equal to I'll say 3 squared plus, open the bracket, negative 4 squared. Just understand. Open the bracket, negative 4 squared, okay? Negative uh, 4 squared. So that will give me what? O and therefore, it's equal to the magnitude of O and will be uh, 9 plus 16 into root, which is equal to 25 into root, which is what? 5 units, okay? And that's what? That is the radius, okay? That is the radius of this cycle. Just understand that. That is the radius, okay? See, we can get, uh, we can get now the equation. Because we are told what? To get what? Find the equation. We have the radius and the center. So we are going to say, look at this point. We are going to say, because we want to get an uh, equation, yeah? Our center is what? We are going to say, x minus a, our a is this one, 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 5 squared, okay? Is equal to what? Is equal to 5 squared. So what are we going to do? Expand this one. x squared minus 4x plus 4, okay? Plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 25. So it will be x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 4y, okay? Just understand that, okay? Plus 4y plus 8. Plus what? Plus 8, okay? Plus 8 means what? 4 plus 4 is 8, I just understand. Minus 25 is equal to 0. So you can say 
x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 4y minus 17 is equal to what? 0. And that is the end, okay? That's how you're going to have such kind of a actually a question, okay? Get the center first. After getting the center, get the radius. How are you going to get the radius? Get the magnitude of OM or M, uh, OM, okay? And that would be the radius, obviously, okay? Now, let's add one or two more examples so they understand better this thing. I know they will come in KCSC, okay? Let's add this one, okay? Are you getting this thing? Get the center first. By, you know, center means what? Midpoint. And that is from two concepts of mathematics. Follow the instruction and get the correct answer. Yeah? That's how you're going to solve guys questions of KCSC. They are very cheap, by the way. They are even more cheaper than those that are found in the KB. So make sure you follow me as I calculate. Okay, let's go. This is example what? Example, example three. Okay, this would be our example, our example uh, three guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go and see example, example three. Okay, this is our example three. You are told uh, the equation of a circle center. The equation of a cycle, the equation of a cycle, of a cycle, center, center, center A, comma, B, okay, is, you are told, X squared plus Y squared, okay, minus 6X, okay, minus 10Y uh, plus 30 is equal to 0. You are told uh, find the value of A and B. Find the value. Find the value of A and uh, B. Okay? Uh, just like the pre uh, what you have found. It's just like what you have done first. So let's go and solve. Take your equation now. This is your equation. Don't forget we have x squared minus 6x plus y squared minus 10y. Because they are cutting the same letter. I just understand plus that t is equal to zero. So the first thing you're going to do is you will transfer this one to our side, yeah? So it will be x squared minus 6x plus y squared minus 10y is equal to negative that t. So what are we going to do? We will add a half of x and y coefficient squared uh, to the right side of the equation. So you're going to say x, x take one of this, x is common, yeah? Minus three squared then. Plus, open the bracket, y minus 5 squared, okay? This divided by 2 is equal to negative that t. Just understand that, yeah? Negative, negative that t. Negative that t, okay? Negative that t. Plus, uh, this one squared. 3, negative 3 squared, okay? Plus, open the bracket, negative 5 squared. So, it will give us x minus 3 squared. Take your time, yeah? Plus, y minus 5, okay? y minus 5 squared is equal to negative that plus because negative negative 3 squared is what positive 9 okay 9 plus uh, 25 which is negative 5 squared so this will give me what x minus 3 squared plus open the bracket y minus 5 squared is equal to uh, add here uh, negative that plus that 4 that is 4 yeah then what are you going to do you introduce root yeah introduce root throughout okay so this will give you what x minus 3 in the bracket uh, in plus y minus 5 in the bracket is equal to what? 2. So what are we going to say now? We are going to say our radius is what? Our radius is 2 already. It's already there. Our radius is 2, yeah? So we're going to say radius. Our radius is what? Our radius is 2, okay? Let me write that. Radius of the cycle is what? 2 units. Just understand that. This is the radius. Then let me get the center. I know that x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to uh, 3. Or you can also say y minus 5 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 5. So you're going to say center. Yeah. Center is the point. Center is the point, which is what? 3, 5. Okay? 3, what? 3, 5. And that's how you're going to do during national exam guys make sure you subscribe our youtube channel and share with your friends and family members otherwise i wish you the best